Every word of God contains the power to accomplish what it says. This truth was a defining moment for me. I can take you to Luke chapter 1 and show you where, you know, the Bible says that, that, that there's no word of God without power. I can take you to the passage in Matthew 8, 13 or so, when the centurion was having, you know, and he says that, you know, you just say it, I know it'll be done. And Jesus said, there was such great faith. I, I can take you all kinds of passages. But I'll never forget the moment when all of a sudden it hit me. God's word is either what it says it is or it isn't. Now, I've got to choose what I believe. Is God's word good? Does it work? Is it sharper than a two-edged sword? Is it alive and active? Is it powerful? Does it transform me if I trust it? Does God have the ability to speak it into me in such a way that empowers me, that provides for me, that protects me, that challenges me, that transforms me, all those kind of words? I'll never forget the day I made a choice. I have chosen to believe that there's not a single word that proceeds from the mouth of God does not, that, that does not contain the power to accomplish exactly what it says. Now, that doesn't make me spiritual. That just means I take God at his word, because that's what God's word teaches. That every single word he speaks. So when he speaks over your fear, or your anxiety, or your depression, or your struggle with finances, or your struggle in your relationships, or your struggle with sin, I'm telling you, when God's word speaks over you in that area, or speaks into you in that area, I'm telling you, it has the power to transform you. Now, if you don't believe it, then you won't see it happen. If you don't know it, then you won't see it happen. 